Recently I noticed something wrong with the water pressure in my home. When the faucet is opened, the water pressure is higher than normal in the first two seconds and then decreases quickly to the normal stable pressure. If the faucet is closed and immediately opened again, the water pressure is normal from the beginning. If the faucet is closed for over one minute and opened again, the water pressure is higher than normal in the first two seconds and then decreases quickly to the normal stable pressure. It seems like the water pressure in the home builds up in just one minute after the faucet is closed each time. The most likely reason for the initial higher pressure is that the pressure reducing valve is not working well and there might be a leak within the pressure reducing valve. To verify the working condition of the pressure reducing valve, I would like to measure the static pressure and running pressure for my home. This picture shows the water lines in the front yard. I have marked the positions of main shutoff valve, branch pipe to backyard hose bib, pressure reducing valve, pipe into home, hose bib, shutoff valve for sprinklers, and branch pipe to sprinklers. Connect a water pressure gauge to the hose bib. Open the hose bib, the measured pressure 85 psi is the static water pressure in the home. This pressure is the same as the city water supply pressure for this address, which I checked with the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power. And this pressure is also higher than the specified maximum reduced pressure 75 psi for this pressure reducing valve, which is one indication that this pressure reducing valve is currently not working properly. When a faucet in the home is opened, the pressure decreases down to 29 psi in about 2 seconds, the running water pressure in the home is 29 psi right now. After the faucet in the home is closed, the pressure first increases quickly to 45 psi and then increases slowly up to the static pressure 85 psi in about 1 minute. Loosen the lock nut on the pressure reducing valve. Rotate the adjustment screw on the pressure reducing valve clockwise by one turn. Open the same faucet in the home, the running pressure is now 40 psi. After the faucet in the home is closed, the pressure first increases quickly to 55 psi and then increases slowly up to the static pressure 85 psi in about 50 seconds. Rotate the adjustment screw anti-clockwise by two turns. Open the same faucet in the home, the running pressure is now 15 psi. 
After the faucet in the home is closed, the pressure first increases quickly to 25 psi and then increases slowly up to the static pressure 85 psi in about 95 seconds. Right now the difference between static pressure and running pressure is very large. These measurements show that the pressure reducing valve is still regulating the running pressure but not the static pressure, which indicates that there is a leak within the pressure reducing valve. After the faucet is closed, the leak through the valve gradually increases the water pressure in the home up to the city water supply pressure. That is why the pressure is very high in the first two seconds after opening the faucet. The static pressure of 85 psi is too high for a home. In general, there are two ways to fix this issue. One way is to rebuild the pressure reducing valve in place using a rebuild kit. The other way is to replace the pressure reducing valve with a new one, which is what I would like to do this time. First, from the body of the pressure reducing valve find out its model and size. For this valve right here, the model is NR3XL and the size is 1 inch. Buy a new valve of the same model and size. It comes with one NPT union connector with a new washer. Close the main water shutoff valve. Drain the water in the home by opening all the faucets in the home. Loosen the union connectors on both sides of the pressure reducing valve and then remove the valve from the pipe.
flush the supply line to remove loose dirt and scale which may damage the seal ring and seat. Install the new valve in line with arrow on valve body pointing in the direction of water flow. For the union connection, hand tighten first, then tighten further using wrenches. Open the main water shutoff valve. The connections are good and there is no water leaking out. Check the water pressure. Now the static pressure in the home is 55 psi, much lower than city water supply pressure. So this new pressure reducing valve works properly. Open the faucet, the pressure change in the first several seconds is not obvious now. The running pressure is 49 psi. When the faucet is closed, the pressure comes back to 55 psi quickly and stays there. As there is no leak within this new pressure reducing valve, the static pressure in the home is effectively regulated by this valve. I am comfortable with the static pressure 55 psi and running pressure 49 psi right now. If needed, we can increase or decrease the water pressure by rotating the adjustment screw on the pressure reducing valve. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching and good luck with your project.